Welcome everyone. Reversal posture exercise, cervical retraction. This simple exercise that focuses on the neck has an impact on the rest of the spine and the shoulders. The longer we spend time in the, at the desk, the longer we sit, the longer we spend uh, using our devices, the more likely we will flex and protract our neck. With this uh, effect, it creates a chaotic effect down the spine all the way to the base and also messes with the clavicle, shoulder, uh, humerus relationships. So from a side view, I will display what happens the longer we sit, our shoulders round, our head protracts, which causes a dysfunction through the systems. So this simple exercise reinforces us to move repositions everything correctly. So, as we spend time in sitting, everything flexes and protracts. So, this simple exercise advocates being tall, and you're gonna focus on trying to shift your, your, your vertebrae back. So the idea is not to flex your neck, it's to retract And create a double chin. So for the purpose of method, how long to hold, and what to feel, let's educate. You want to put your hands in front of your clavicles here, and if you feel these muscles, which are the sternomastoids, you're doing this incorrectly. And those are the flexing muscles and protracting muscles. We want to use some muscles that are in front of the spine, the deep cervical flexors, and help retract the, 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 the vertebrae over one another. From a side view, if you look at my ear, all day spent at the desk, driving, or just looking down at the cell phone, everything is flexing forward, so upright. And if you pay attention to my ear, as I do this, my ear positioning will change. And I will, be, I will create a cervical curve, which is your natural anatomy. It does take focus and concentration. The bigger muscles are going to partake in this party. So please avoid using them. How do I know whether they're getting used or the right ones are getting used? Well, if you lay it on the floor, and you put your hand by your clavicle, and if you lift your head and you feel those muscles, those are the wrong muscles you, you are using during this exercise. So back again, from a side view, hands on the clavicle, you're gonna retract for five seconds and you're gonna focus on not using the outer muscles. Takes focus, five seconds, contraction. It's gonna feel like you're rolling your chins. Um, another physical cue is monitor your eyes, nose, and chin. How much do they go up and down? None of that should be occurring. You should be sliding and retracting your vertebrae, trying to reestablish neutral cervical spine, which will cause your chest to come up which will improve your mid-back, your thoracic spine, and also will improve the way your low back feels. Fact of the day, for every degree your cervical spine is uh, flexed forward and protracted, is about five pounds on the lumbar spine. So sometimes by improving the cervical spine, you improve the thoracic and the, and the lumbar. It's re pretty much readjusting your skull, which is pretty big, decent mass, over the segments to make the linear force the least path of resistance. All day spent forward flex, chest up, shoulders back, focus on not using the bigger muscles. 10 to 20 repetitions with 5 to 10 second holds does wonders on the spine. 
Everybody who uses the vice should be doing this exercise daily. The longer we sit, the more likely you will flex forward and protract that head. Please be mindful. It's not about aggression. It's about technique. So the deeper muscles are the ones that we're trying to really use. A very effective exercise helps prevent a lot of issues. And also another uh, impactful exercise uh, purpose of this is uh, the more likely you have this alignment with the neck, the less likely you might have also tingling into your fingertips. Uh, radiopathy is an issue that occurs sometimes with the vertebrae being in the wrong position, pushing pressure on the nerves, sending signals through the, through the whole highway of the nerve system. So aligning up the vertebrae via the cervical retraction and making sure you use the right muscles can make an impact also on tingling and radiopathy. Uh, please uh, be not aggressive. You can do this in standing and sitting. All recommended, 10 repetition, 20, up to maybe 20, just to get a, a better understanding of what muscles are to be used. And then it's a very simple exercise that could be done anywhere. Highly recommend.